So now we have a kink-free bend that's exactly 13 degrees. Now that this has been advanced to the next piece of tape, I do have an issue where I need to make sure that this is straight so the next bend doesn't make this get out of line. See, that's crooked right there. On my end of my tubing here, I clamped just a, a piece of uh, weld scrap before I started and I zeroed it out so that way I can make sure that my twist um, is not a factor. So as long as this clamped piece stays in line, I can just recheck my zero and then eyeball my bend and it'll be perfectly aligned. I'm sure there are various ways to align this properly, but what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just taking my eye and coming down the tube and making sure that the top of the tube looks exactly centered on the radius of the top of that die. So I'm just eyeballing everything to make sure that I'm right in line the way it should be. Sometimes my zero there at the other end doesn't take into consideration the fact that sometimes this tubing may twist a little bit. So even though I zeroed it on the other side, now before I clamp it in, I just need to check it every single time. All right, now this next bend is going to be 90 degrees. So I'll be able to get quite a bit of bend out of this before I have to worry about anything. So I'm just gonna start cranking. I'm at zero and I can keep this there if I want to but I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Double check one more time and let her rip. So we talked about the spring back and the way these dies are set up, um, my hydraulic cylinder can only get to just, just close to 90 degrees. So right now with a zero on this bottom tube, I'm at 89.6 degrees. And because of the two degrees here, I'm actually gonna push this to about 94. So what I need to do is like right now, I'm pretty much maxed out. So I'm going to release my cylinder once it's... Once it releases the tension, this will stay here. I'm gonna come back one hole and repin this. Now I can push a little bit past. Even though this is a 90 degree die, it'll probably get to about 110 maybe even 120 degrees before it actually starts to kink. But all I want is that 94. So now I'm gonna pump it back up and I don't have to take my measurement until my last bend because I know I'm at my second notch and then I'll take a measurement. All right, so I'm gonna double check my zero. It just looks like it's getting pretty far and it's only two degrees past. So <clears throat> all right, I'm at 88, but it's actually 92 degrees. So I'm going to release my pressure until this pin can um, relax and, and be able to come in and out. And then I'm gonna check my zero again. Oh, measure first. So 
So I'm at 12 and a half inches of stroke on my second notch. What's up, monkey? Uh oh. I don't know either. Bending tubes. All right, I'm at 89.3 degrees. So I could go probably another 16th of an inch of stroke. I'll probably do that. So I'll go to 12 and 9 sixteenths. And if anything, remember this is the back side of the, of the cage. So if anything, my roof will just rake down a little bit. And then, like I said, everything is going to depend on this last angle when my measurements at the top um, are where they need to be for the cage. Okay, so I've got my bends all complete, as close as I can get right now with a full stick of, of tubing. So what I'm doing here now is I have recorded this. I've gone a couple degrees past. And then I took a drywall square and did just some rough measurements using my square. Um, if you recall, my mounting point for this compared to here in the front, this front mounting point is about an inch lower. So I um, I double checked my measurement, which was 43 and a half inches from the top of this tube to the end because I calculated an extra half inch of tubing just for trimming. And then I measured over here to 44 and a half and just ran my tape as a straight edge. And I landed about right here. So I'm going, I marked with just a piece of tape. I'm gonna trim this and pull it from the bender and then just double check according to the car. Well, everything looks like it's gonna work out pretty good. <clears throat> Losing all my paperwork, but uh, everything looks like it's gonna fit well. So that's good. Now it's just time to uh, make my mounting plates and then um, do some tack welds and trimming and all that stuff. I'd also like to point out the advantage of just keeping everything straight. Um, when you're doing cage work like this, it's easy to use, uh, you know, weld one end and then use leverage or ratchet straps or whatever the case may be to straighten stuff out. But if you can just keep it straight from the beginning, that really helps out. So now, by recording my stroke measurements and my bend measurements, I was able to duplicate. There's two pieces there, and I got a munchkin in the way. But I was able to duplicate all my bends, and so now I have the tubing right in line with each other. So both sides are symmetrical. Now it's time to trim them into place as far as the, the lengths go. And then we'll have the shape of a cage.